Hey YouTube, you know what's going on? I just got one thing to say to you guys. Square up! Square the fuck up! Hey, what's going on? Um, <laughs> sorry about my display earlier, but I just got, you know, I got one thing to say. Chi-Town is in the motherfucking house. You know what I'm saying? Chi-Town's in the motherfucking house. Um, wow. This episode, I had to catch a repeat of it. I'm sorry I wasn't able to post this sooner. Um, I know the next episode's like really close, but I'm gonna get better on that, you guys. And, um... I've been working and all that type of shit, you know, just trying to keep it, you know, copacetic. But, Chateau is in a motherfucking house. Come on now, this episode was just, oh my god, oh my god, this episode was just off the hook. I, 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 okay, it went a little slow at first for me, for my taste, I was like, damn, because, you know, we watched the previews. And we knew that Tiffany was going to pop off soon. Sorry, not trying to take Tanisha's phrases, but we knew she was going to get it cracking soon. But, um, we had no idea how far it was going to go. Okay, let's start off. Um, first off, I'm sorry. I know that I really didn't touch up on it last time, but Aaliyah and Kevin's relationship on the show is just, you know, if she's happy... Let's let her be happy, you know, if we, I mean, I guess I could just leave it at that. I did appreciate how she was all, oh, we got seven minutes to get there, we got seven minutes, we got twenty minutes, we got five minutes to get there, because you're me, just because your man is, you know, at the, at the restaurant waiting for you guys to come, doesn't mean you can rush the rest of them, and they're, work, they're on your time, because you're trying to impress your, you know, your uh, man, you know what I'm saying, you know, I didn't really like that, um, um, but then the whole argument between her and Amber, that was just such bullshit. Come on, Leah. Aaliyah, I'm sorry, she's fucking psycho. Did you see that bitch? She was in that, uh, um, uh, I, I didn't tell you, Amber, and we weren't doing it on his time. We weren't doing it on his time. Okay, so I thought Leah was a little psycho, you know. But um, then when she did that whole little show of throwing the table and throwing the chairs and everything, I just thought that was a little staged. It was a little, you know, come on, Leah. Come on, Leah. And then Boston and Sarah were over there, no, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. What the fuck? And you know what? I give props to Amber. Ever since the first episode, Amber ain't scared of these bitches. Amber is the most dissy one. She ain't even scared of them, yo. She like, what? What? She be sitting there like this. What? What? And she'll just walk away. And she'll talk shit about them right in front of their faces. And it's like not even like, you know, she doesn't have to get loud or boisterous. And I like that type of bitch. I like a bitch like that. I like that, you know, I, I have a homegirl that's like that. And I, we have so much fun talking shit about other people who do stuff like that. You know? Um, okay, what's the other highlights? What's the other highlight? What's the other highlight? Um, Amber and Greg. Amber. <laughs> Um, you know, I, I agree with the other Amber. I agree with Amber, um, damn, which one is it? Oh, God. Anyway, I agree with the, uh, the, the ditzy Amber. Um, the skinny Amber, she just likes to go with guys who treat her like shit. You know? I know women like that, too. I have girlfriends who like that. You know, I have friends who like that. I have guy friends who like to go out with girls who treat them like shit. You know? So, it's like... You know, she can, she should stop. You know, they just want to have something like that for the sake of complaining. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that was, you know, that was, and then, <laughs> and then the dude, you know, he was fucking her from the back. Did y'all see that? He was fucking her from the back, from the side. He was like, <sighs> in a bed, I was like, it was from the little night vision. She kept going, no, guys, I did not give him no ass. Mm. It was like, I was almost like soft porn. I was like, damn, oxygen, y'all showing a lot. I mean, like, have y'all watched James Dickinson's Molly, uh, James Dickinson's Molly, Molly Agency 
on oxygen, when they would show the ass and the, 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 almost the boobs and everything like that. And they show the guy's ass and his balls and almost his penis. And I'm like, damn, they just, you know, oxygen's just t like HBO now. Especially, um, especially FX. But we're not even going there. We're not even going there. But, um, anyway, that was just a sidebar. And also, another sidebar, um, Greg had too many questionable, um, about his sexuality. He had too many questionable, um, he made too many questionable remarks. You know, told us, oh, I kiss my friends on the lips. I kiss my guy friends on the lips. What? And then, did y'all catch that remark when he was like, oh, that'd be a nice dress for a dude? And then he was like, oh, I mean, if I was a girl, that'd be a nice dress. Come on. It's L.A. Gay capital of the world. Anyway, um, so, one of the gay capitals, anyway. Anyway, so, okay, so we get there, and they go out, they go out, you know, and... Came, they're all out there dancing or whatever. The me of the episode, the, epi the part of the episode I wanted to get to, I was waiting to get to. They were out there dancing, you know, and Kayla, you know, she, um, she messes up her dress, okay? Now, at this point, Tiffany was already almost, like, about to just choke Kayla anyway. Kayla was like a total bitch to her again. Tiffany had some guys over, you know, some black dudes over, and Kayla, and, you know, Kayla and Miss Boston, you know, and Boston goes out there banging pots and pans to get attention. And I love how Tiffany called out Tanisha from the other season and was like, you know, you don't have to resort to Tanisha's antics to get attention. And I was like, yes, thank you, go. I wanted someone to say some shit about that. Thank you. But anyway, so Kayla was just, you know, and then Kayla made a remark about how she didn't like Tiffany because she was a light-skinned bitch. Whatever. Like, Kayla, she is just, I'm so over Kayla. At this point, I'm just so over Kayla. I, she's a fake-ass bitch. And I just, uh, And I loved, I loved the last 20 minutes of the episode. Tiffany was just straight G. Did y'all see that? Tiffany was just like, you know, it's a motherfucking dress. Okay, so Kayla skips her, you know, Kayla splits her dress. And everybody's like, oh, come on, Casey, you know, we'll get you to the car, but you have to laugh about this, it's, you know, it's funny, come on, you know, just cheer up, it's okay. And she's, y'all know, y'all can't tell me how the fuck to feel, how the fuck to feel, I can get mad, if I split my dress, I'm gonna get mad. And Tiffany was like, it's a motherfucking dress, G, it's a motherfucking dress, shut the fuck up. I love that shit. They get her to the limo, and Kayla... Strips off her dress, but ass naked in the damn limo. I'm like, this bitch must like being naked. I mean, you remember last episode when she was drunk and she got naked or whatever like that. And Tiffany was the only one who took care of her. Tiffany's been taking care of this bitch the whole time, and Tiffany's the only one that's getting attacked by this bitch. You keep fuck. Why the fuck you keep attacking the hand that you can't bite the hand that feeds you. You know, the one one person who keeps saying, you know, I'm trying to understand her and trying to help her out, the one is the one person she keeps stabbing. Oh goodness, but Timmy, she was going off. Timmy was like, Square the fuck up! Square the fuck up! You know, so out and she thought and then, you know, later it went it went from there and it went all the way into the house. Where Kayla was talking shit, you know, to Amber about Tiffany, about calling her Shy Town. And Tiffany went up there, Tiffany went up there, straight G. Tiffany went up there, slipping her hair and shit. Talking about some, yo, yo, you talking shit about me? You talking shit to Kayla, talking about some, I'm addressing everybody. No, bitch, you addressing everybody, got my motherfucking stairs. They got my motherfucking stairs. And she was just all yelling. Kayla didn't say shit. Kayla is a bitch, yo. Kayla didn't say nothing. Now, had it been one, had, had it been Boston or another white chick in the house who had got loud with her, she wanted to get all boisterous and, ooh, I'm a, I'm from Compton. But you know, Timmy was young all in her face, cussing her ass out, telling her we can sweat, we can do this shit, we can whoop your ass, you know, we can do this shit. And Kayla didn't say shit. She didn't say a motherfucking thing, bitch. She a stupid ass bitch. I can't stand her. Ugh, she didn't say a motherfucking thing, y'all. Y'all saw that shit. Y'all saw this shit. You know, now the monster's unleashed. Tiffany's unleashed. You know what I'm saying? The monster's out. And we don't even know. I don't, as for the look, you know, she, last thing she said was war. Oh, I like how Tiffany was like, you know, it don't matter if you're from Compton, Brooklyn, Boston, Chi-Town, where you from? 
Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. <laughs> to be my girl. But look, like, the monster's been unleashed and like she can't put it back and you know, it looks like um there might be some issues with that. So I have no recap um for you, so thank you. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed it and I'll see you next week.